Hi there, and welcome to High School Sports Zone. Lots of great highlights in action on this week's edition of the program. We'll be taking a look at a number of divisions of junior boys volleyball. The Tier 1 division is probably our best one, though. There's a number of undefeated teams, and we're at the midway point of the season, so lots is up for grabs in that division. We'll also be taking a look at girls' AAA championship hockey. We're into the third and deciding game of the series between Glebe and Sacred Heart. We'll see who takes home the championship. But as I mentioned, Junior Boys Tier 1 Volleyball is where we'll start things off this week. Our first matchup has Lisger meeting up with Samuel Jeanette. Now these are two of the top teams in the Eastern Conference, and the winner of this matchup would almost certainly punch their ticket to the playoffs. Two of the top teams in Junior Boys Volleyball East Division hit the court as Lisker met Samuel Genet. Sammy G's number 13 Maraud put an end to a hard-fought rally, lasers up 15-8. Number 6 Parisian served up the ace to give Sammy G the 18-11 lead. Chatelaine, Sammy G's number 14, fought through the Lisker block, giving the lasers a 10-point lead. Sammy G's number two, Shiboda, was quick in the middle with the tip to put the lasers up. Sammy G went on to win the first set, 25-13. In the second set, Lisker's number three, Mac Rupp, tied the game at 16 with a cross-court smash. Barber, Sammy G's number eight, tied it at 19 apiece when his smash caught a Lisker player on the way down. Lisker's number nine, Chen, beat the block and put the Lords up 22-20. The back row smash sent by Sammy G's number 15, Hajar, cut the deficit to one. Lisker's number 15, Zhu, closed the second set 25-23 with a smash. Hajar hammered down an untouched spike, Lasers lead 15-12. Lisker took the lead 16-15 when number nine, Chen, found open court with his smash. Sergi, Lord's number 10, smash, tied the game at 20 apiece. Sammy G's number 14, Chatelain, redirected the ball at the net. Lasers lead 24-21. Number 6, Parisian, was awarded set point for his tip from the corner. Lasers won the third set, 25-22. Lisker's number 4, Milieu, was there for the block. Lord's trail, 13-10. Shiboda, Lasers number 2, smash, put Sammy G on top by 4. Lord's number 10, Sergi, smash, cut the deficit to five. The Lasers moved into a comfortable 22-13 lead as number 15, Hajar, smash, was unreturnable. After being subbed in for game point, number two, Shiboda's play from the middle won the fourth set, 25-14. Samuel Jeunesse won three sets to one against Lisger in junior boys volleyball. For High School Sports Zone, I'm Ashley McDonald. Merivale hope to keep pace with the West Division leaders when they play at host to West Carleton in junior boys volleyball. In the first set, West Carleton took the early 11-9 advantage as number 13, Wilson's spike is too much to handle. Again for the Wolves, it's number 2, Ho's powerful serve that extends West Carleton's lead to 14-11. To Answering back is Merivale's captain, Martin Dimitron, whose tough block pulls the Marauders to within one. 18 to 17 West Carlton. Still in the first set, Maryville's Dante Cooper provides the sturdy block, making it 23 to 21 for West Carlton. And it was West Carlton who would take the first set, 25 to 22, after number 12 Green's powerful smash. The second set saw Green again with the great spike off of a near perfect setup, giving the Wolves a 16 to 11 edge. Following that up was West Carlton's Wilson with the emphatic denial, extending the Wolves' lead to 21 to 12. With a nice tip, the Wolves would go on to get their 25th point and take set two, 25 to 18. Maryville started off the third set strong as Dante Cooper's smash gives the Marauders the 15 to seven edge. But West Carlton wouldn't go down easily as this long rally is ended with a nice tip, 18 to 13. Then, it's the Wolves' number three, Wahid, with his own tip to pull West Carlton to within one, 23-22. But set number three was capped off by Maryville's Chris Turpin, as he delivers a great serve to win the set, 25-22. For the Wolves, it's number six, Weed Mark's great-looking spike, extending the lead to 20-13. West Carlton goes on to beat Maryville three sets to one on the road. For High School Sports Zone, I'm Braden Cheng. Sir 
Wilfrid Laurier hope to improve to 4 0 on the season as they took on Samuel Jeunesse in junior girls volleyball. Sammy G started things off as number 16 Mayo Smash rode the net, putting Sammy G up 15 8. Number 9 Page shut down the first set with a smash 25 13 for Sammy G. In the second set, number 17 Mammy's tip found space on the Lancers' side, Sammy G up 17 10. Number 14, Halburn serve cut the Lancers' deficit to six. Mammy was back at it, this time off the back set. Sammy G leads 19-12. Lasers number 11, Diabati smash got tangled up in the Lancers' block, giving Sammy G the second set, 25-17. The Lancers started off strong as number 20, DeCouver's tip tied the set at 10 apiece. Number two, Campbell spike was hit out by a Lancers player, Sammy G up 12-10. DeCouver put the Lancers on top 2015 after she served an ace. Lancers number seven, Hall made the big block in the middle. Sir Wilford Laurier took the third set, 25-18, pushing the fourth set. Number 12, Lamenting smash hit off the net, tying things up at 12. DeCouver's Lancers number 20 stepped up for the block, putting them on top 14-12. Sammy G's number nine, Page, found open court off the smash, tying the game at 19 apiece. Sammy G went on to win the fourth set, 25-22 over Sir Wilford Laurier. They took the junior girls volleyball match three sets to one. For High School Sports Zone, I'm Ashley McDonald. We've got some girls championship hockey highlights after the break, but before we get to that, more action in boys volleyball. 